all the memes about the good doctor going around. I am, I am a surgeon. I am a surgeon, Dr. Han. I am a surgeon. Yeah. We figured what better way to pay tribute to a meme that's gonna be outdated in five days ago than by reviewing a similarly outdated VR game. I'm Mac Cheese, the host of the Jetavision, and tonight we're reviewing Surgeon Simulator Experience Reality. That's right, Surgeon Simulator, a game that made waves on YouTube back in 2013, was remade as a room-scaled VR experience back in 2016, just three years later. So does it do the original justice? Well, that's what we're here to break down. In premise, the VR rendition of Surgeon Simulator isn't much different from its flat-screen counterpart. You're a bumbling idiot surgeon named Nigel, given a wide variety of surgical tools to help a patient named Bob. There are five operations in the game. Heart surgery, cut open the rib cage, take out the lungs, cut out the stomach, and replace the heart. Kidney, bust open that rib cage, cut out the intestines, and drop in the kidneys. You got your brain transplant, you bust up the skull, pull out the brain, and throw in a new one. Eye surgery, you whack off the goggles, stab into them eyes, pull them out, pop in the replacements. And then you have a teeth transplant. You cut off the mask, whack out the teeth, and use tweezers to put in the replacements. Of course, you can't be too reckless, otherwise the patient will lose blood and uh die. And you got a few different scenarios as well. You got your typical surgery room, very straightforward, but then you have this ambulance mode where you're doing surgery in an ambulance, which makes these sharp turns and jerks around, causing your surgical tools to go flying all over the place. There's a zero gravity mode as well, where your surgery is done in outer space, and all of your tools are just scattered about in a spaceship, and you have to painstakingly pluck them out of the air. And of course, there's the secret alien surgery, where you have to extract a huge ball, which is set to explode. The game is a good bit of simple fun. It's not a deep one by any means, so I can't really go into much detail about it, but I enjoyed using the various tools that the game gives you to plink around and go about the operations. And I did like the added challenge of the ambulance and zero gravity surgeries. While the game lasted, I had a good bit of fun. I can't really say much else about it, it's pretty straightforward. So in terms of the actual content, what the game gives you, it doesn't really do anything different. Most of what you'd find in the original game remains here. But being in VR, the game's gonna play a lot differently than its flat screen experience. In the original game, you controlled a singular hand and used the keyboard to control each individual finger on it. This made an otherwise straightforward game into a needlessly complicated, clunky, and non-fluent experience. And, well... That was kind of the point. That was the joke. That was the game's humor. That in any other game, picking up an item would be incredibly easy and straightforward, but in Surgeon Simulator, it was built from the ground up to be a frustrating experience. But that's something that you really can't translate to VR. You can't really make hand controls overly complicated when you're literally holding a controller that is supposed to replicate your hands as closely as possible. So a lot of the humor and appeal of the original game is pretty much lost. It was this needlessly complicated game that would be straightforward if the controls were normal, except in this game, the controls are normal, so it is straightforward. You can grab items with little to no problem at all, and as a result, the levels in this game are really easy to beat. That being said, I do think the game tries to replicate the original's controls, because actually picking up items in this game, it feels clunky, which I think is intentional. The problem is, a lot of the quirky indie humor is kind of lost on me because it doesn't really feel like an integral part of the game. It just feels like a minor annoyance that, at worst, is just kind of a thorn in your side. Oh wow, we made gripping objects in our game feel awkward. That's the joke. Yeah, I'm laughing really hard right now. I find that absolutely hilarious. It's not like I can play any other poorly developed VR game and get much of the same experience. Now what I don't think is intentional is that it's one of those games where your real hands and your in-game hands don't match. They're offset by like 45 degrees. I don't think they actually bothered to optimize this game for the Knuckles controller. It's compatible, but just not built for it. Which I guess they don't need to update their game so that the controllers work better with it. I mean, they are just the most cutting edge on the VR market right now, but who cares about that? In in spite of the controls, the game is fun while it lasts. Like I said with the straightforward controls, defeating a lot of the difficulty of the initial game, the game is beaten relatively quickly. In my experience, less than three hours. After like two and a half hours of gameplay, I had seen everything it had to offer. Like many VR games at its time, it really feels like a tech demo. That wouldn't be a bad thing, I suppose, but for $20, well, it actually kind of is. Aside from that just being an absurd price for what you get, there's some other good VR games that you can get for that very price. I really don't know why you choose this one over anything else on the market. Overall, Surgeon Simulator Experience Reality is a straightforward but fun game while it lasts. Though its intentionally awkward controls don't have the intended humorous effect that the developers think it does, even at that, its runtime is cut rather short. Overall, I'm gonna give this one a 6 out of 10. As far as recommendations go, I don't 
don't not recommend it. Like I said, it's a decent amount of fun while it lasts. If Surgeon Simulator in VR is something that interests you, it's definitely worth checking out, but only on sale. But of course, that's gonna do it for this review. Now, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. If you want to keep up to date with our game and movie reviews, subscribe to the channel, follow the Twitter, and join the Discord. Mac Chista Jetavision, signing out. You all have a good one.